the Los Angeles Regional Chairman's Award. It's the most prestigious award at first. It honors the team that best represents a model for other teams to emulate and the best embodies the purpose and goals of first. The Chairman's Award is presented to the team judged to have the most significant measurable impact of its partnerships among its participants and community over a sustained period, not just one single build season. The winner is able to demonstrate progress towards FIRST's mission of transforming our culture. The recipient team will be invited to a FIRST championship where it will compete for the Chairman's Award against winners from other qualifying events. This team serves as an ambassador for FIRST in their school and in their community. They extensively document everything, from business plans to technical guides to data on their alumni. The judges are still trying to get through all their handouts. They lead alliances of other FRC teams with gracious professionalism, acting as role models for teams everywhere. They use FIRST to sustain team growth and to multiply excitement for STEM at a large and growing scale. They've embraced the full life cycle of FIRST programs by starting nine FTC teams, five FLL teams, and four FLL junior teams, and by representing Team Mexico in the FIRST Global Challenge. Congratulations, Team 4400! Senores from Colegio Cervantes de Torreon in Torreon, Mexico. Now, let's check out their award-winning chairman's video. To rise, we need to fall first. No matter what, we always have to face different obstacles, and giving up is not an option. We are Team Cerbotics 4400 from Torreón, Coahuila, Mexico, and this is our story. In five years, we have started 23 teams from all first categories. In total, the Zerbotics family invested more than $18,500. Moreover, we develop our own sustainable teams opening project, First Seed. Via an alliance with three top Mexican teams, we shared manuals and assistance to start teams and help them during their rookie year. Zerbotics 4400 has been trying to help as much as possible. We did this by mentoring 13 teams in several ways and assisting 70 from all over the world. But our work goes beyond the traditional first categories. Last season, we represented our country in the first global challenge, where both first and sem combined with Mexican culture, surpassed borders and brought a piece of our nation to thousands of kilometers away from home. All of the Team Mexico's members were also part of the team and represented the efforts of a whole. This season, we are helping by hosting, running and assisting six different first related events, being the Peñoles Cervantes tryout, our week series event that we have been hosting since our rookie year, the most important, counting with 22 teams and a thousand assistants in this 2020 edition. Also, we run the annual Robotics Festival, a full day event where the masterminds in STEM in our region present and premiere their inspiring projects. Through it, we engaged our city hall, first teams and both local and national universities into action, generating a pure STEM synergy. 2020 also introduced STEM Girls, a discussion panel where numerous girls shared new ways to involve women in science and technology within our country. In this robotics mission, our sponsors are real enthusiasts of the diffusion of STEM. This gave us the opportunity to organize two first show-offs to the children of our sponsors' workers. This way, we didn't only spread the first message to more than 100 people, but we fomented a close iterated contact within our sponsorships. This year, in collaboration with Limpiemos Mexico, we run one of the biggest cleaning campaigns in our zone. With the help of 400 volunteers, we collected four tons of waste, almost 10,000 square meters of our local river drive. Each one of us is doing this for a specific reason, and it would be impossible to explain them all. And our journey may be full of obstacles, and there might be a point where progress seems far more than impossible. The real reason we are doing this is because of hope. 
Hope in the better tomorrow our team members are forging since today. The same hope that allowed us to be here and that today marks the way we rise.